Hello, so here we are with a bit of a hands-on review of the Sony Xperia M. Now, we've got to be honest, this is a pre-production device, so um, it may change come the final uh, production unit, uh, but we expect this to be pretty close to it. And we're just going to give you a few of our initial thoughts, uh, feedback and impression on the device. Now, I must start with saying, actually, overall, we're really impressed. Sony make a good range of mobile devices um, nowadays and it's quite hard to find fault in them. Even some of the most basic phones at the lowest price point um, offer quite a lot of value for money in terms of what you actually get. So we have the white unit here. It is available in black as well and it's going to be available for around about £200. It depends how picky you really want to be. Yes, you're not going to get cutting edge performance. If you want true multitasking gaming, then this probably isn't the device for you. But this device does serve as a good first or possibly second smartphone for carrying around in your bag or pocket. Or if you don't need the latest and greatest piece of hardware, you just want good value performance, um, then the M could be that device for you. Now, there's a lot of devices within the Sony range, uh, but the M is at the lower end. Well, I say lower end, lower to mid-range and a more cost-effective price point. So we've got a four-inch touchscreen display uh, on the front here. The resolution is 854 by 480, so it's not going to be blowing you away with the images, but for web browsing, viewing some of your pictures, for text messaging, phone calls, it's all perfectly suitable. In fact, let me take you into some of the pictures that we've taken on the device here. Um, I'm not sure how well they're really picking up, but okay, it's not the most fantastic thing, but you can actually see that the quality is pretty good. And I can certainly pick up a lot of detail in this image. I can even get down to the reflections in these letters to see, you know, there's a house reflecting here. We've got the dirt. I mean, that's partly down to the camera itself, but Overall, for viewing back most photos, it's pretty good. Um, you, of course, can connect this up to a computer via the micro USB port to take the pictures off. You can use the uh, 3G connectivity or the Wi-Fi to actually share uh, the photos on here. Four inches, it's quite a nice size. It's not too big. It fits in the hand quite nicely. And it's quite lightweight at 115 grams. It's, it's not too obtrusive. It's a nice compact little phone. If we had to make some criticisms, you've got the four inch display here, but you've got the uh, buttons built into the software and you've got quite a lot of sort of white space down here that could have been used for some capacitive buttons to give you more actual on screen space. Having said that, you do get an LED sort of notification light. And if I go into the album, this is a good way of showing you. Can you just see the light appearing at the bottom there uh, that comes up different colors based on your settings and when you get notifications um, so that's where they built that in but it's a bit of a shame that we've got quite a lot of white space here and at the top that could have perhaps been better used um, in terms of getting more from the actual screen we've got a light sensor up here so it will automatically adjust the screen brightness if you set it like that uh, we've got a front facing camera it's actually a VGA camera so it's not the highest quality but bear in mind the price point of this product and do uh, also bear in mind how many times you use the front facing camera for the likes of video calls Wi-Fi Bluetooth NFC it's all built into this device and you've got NFC on the back panel here whilst we're looking at the back panel it's quite nice this is the the white unit uh, we've got the Xperia logo in here, that's smooth to the touch. We've got the Sony logo, which is actually raised, but it's a smooth touch back cover. The white will probably pick up the dirt more than the black. We've got the loudspeaker down here, which we'll come on to uh, in just a moment. And then we've got the rear facing camera. So this is a five megapixel camera with autofocus LED flash. We've got a microphone and that records at 720p, which is again is uh, quite acceptable. And the quality of that has been pretty good as well. It's not again up there with the very latest devices, but you could be paying £200 plus for those higher end devices. Certainly for capturing a few videos, sharing with friends, etc. Perfectly adequate. We've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack placed centrally in the top there. That's very nice. So you can have your headphones in, put that in your bag, in your pocket, and the cable will easily trail out. We've got the micro USB port, which uh, makes it easy for connecting cables to. We've got USB on the go. So what we can actually do is connect up the likes of uh, USB cables and thumb drives like this. So if I just actually show you that, 
just got a USB stick connected here, picks up the USB storage is connected and I can go through to my file manager. Here we go. And it's picked up the files on the disk. So USB stick and I can access that content here. So I've got a PDF and I can view that like so from the memory stick. I can also copy content off the memory stick. So if for example, your friend had photos or something or a document on there, then you can access that and use it. So if we just disconnect that, uh, taking a look at the side, we've got this nice sort of design that is consistent across the Xperia range at the moment, the Omni Balance button. We've got a dedicated camera button, which helps with taking pictures. So you can, you know, get a firm press on that button and take your image. We've also got this sort of nice silver recess banding. Um, it's going to be personal opinion whether you like it, but you can just see there that it's actually recessed. And I actually quite like it. It makes it look quite quite nice uh, there in terms of um, the actual styling. It makes it feel a little bit more premium than it perhaps is. If we just actually quickly go into the camera application, just show you that we've got quite a few controls here on the camera. So you've got a variety of settings at the top, whether it be the front video, front camera, the rear video or just normal. When you're in normal mode, you've got the ability to shoot still images or record uh, video. You've got HDR options. You've got full settings, including image stabilization, exposure. You can set the resolution. So it's five megapixels there when you're taking a still. But if we go into the video camera, we can go in here and we can set the resolution up at 720p. We've also got the likes of the video light, whether we have that on or off, it's your personal opinion. Got shortcut into the gallery and here we can sort of go through images that we've got and we've got the little LED notification light coming up here. So all in all pretty good. Let me just play you back some video here. This is a rear facing camera video test on the Sony Xperia M on a bright sunny day. There's a bit of breeze in the air. So you can actually hear that speaker's not too bad on this device, uh, but I'll just show you that a bit more by playing some audio through the actual settings. So if we just go down into sound, and let's just play your ringtone for example's sake. So that was at full volume, I've accidentally uh, stopped that there, uh, but it's actually quite loud. I think most people will be quite happy with that. And within sound, you've got some options, including X loud and clear phase, which help enhance the sound that you actually get. Uh, you've got lots of control, as I mentioned, over the display, your font sizes, you can change your themes and the light effects that you get down here. It's you know, going to be personal for different messages, etc. You've got Xperia here. So you've got PlayStation certification on here. So you can playing PlayStation games and you've got your uh, connectivity for displays and USB there. Variety of languages and everything. In terms of uh, memory on this device, you get four gig out of the box, but uh, depending on what apps and everything you get installed, out of the box straight away, you should get somewhere between uh, one and 1.5 gig available for you to use. But under the removable back cover, you've actually got uh, the micro SD card slot, which supports up to 32 gig. Um, so that's again a great way of expanding the memory on the device. You can add all your variety of accounts. We've got a Google account set up here, but your Sony accounts, Facebook, email, that's all there. Just go to about the phone so you can see it's running Android version 4.1.2, which will uh, be coming out and I'm sure Sony will bring updates to that in the future as well with the latest uh, revisions we've got. So you can see that's a pretty well packed device. I mentioned you've got the micro SD slot. To remove the back cover, you just pull it off like so. And here we have a 1750 milliamp hour battery. Got the micro SD card slot, the micro SIM card slot. So all in all for 200 pounds, this is a pretty good uh, device. The fact you've got rear and front facing cameras, multiple connectivity options. You can see the screen is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. We did wash our hands before that, but you can that's picking it up, but it is a scratch resistant screen. 
You've got everything you could possibly need in this device uh, as a smartphone. And only really if you're a power user would you perhaps warrant or need something more. So it's very easy to recommend this device. Um, it's going to be personal opinion on designing and whether some of the features are going to be up to it for you. But for £200, you can't do too much better. You get a lot of uh, product for your money. So for more coverage and uh, hands-on opinion, check out our blog, blog.clove.co.uk. To pick one up, head over to our website, which is clove.co.uk. So until next time, thanks for watching.